All right, um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, two extra credit options that you have for this class. Both of them are worth up to five total points on your final grade. So this is pretty, pretty luxurious. It could bring um, an 89 up to a 94. So it could bring you up from a B plus to, to an A. Um, that's pretty rare though, just so you know that you, you get a five out of five on these. Um, but anyways, uh, what we have for options, and these uh, are both due um, uh, during our final exam period, which is Wednesday, June 10th by, by noon. Okay, and you'll submit this to me via email or uh, Canvas, but probably just by, by email. Uh, so you have two options. Uh, one is what's called the synthesis paper, and the other is which, which is a critical remix. So um, I'll just sort of go over these just so you, you know what they are, and you can see these um, and read the full assignment descriptions on the assignment page on Canvas where like the exam reviews are posted and stuff like that. So I'll start with the, the paper, which, um, you know, uh, maybe for some of y'all, if y'all want to be creative, you can do the critical remix. But the, the paper, synthesis, synthesis paper is essentially this. Like, if you think of in uh, philosophical terms, uh, synthesis is, you know, when your thesis, which is your point of view, is met with antithesis, which is the opposite of, of your point of view. And in that is what's created is synthesis. And the sense of that, you know, thing about that, and I'm simplifying the shit out of this, but simplifying that to the basic concept that, you know, when your views are met with different views, <clears throat> you know, you may come out of that discussion or engagement or argument or whatever uh, with a new way of thinking. And, and it doesn't necessarily mean that your antithesis will change uh, your particular viewpoint, you know, that you'll, you'll change that much. But what will happen you know, ho hopefully is it will change how you think about the way that y your position, um, your position on the subject, or it will change um, how you view someone who holds a different, you know, perspective and how to kind of navigate that. So it may not, you know, change your mind, so to speak, but it will, um, you know, alter how you engage, I guess is what I'm trying to say, um, with a topic or, uh, you know, uh, so, something. So, for, for example, what I mean by this is in this class, you know, you have your perspective. You come into this class with a very particular perspective on things like ideas, on things like copyright and patent and what they are and what they mean. And I hope that this class has like, you know, not, not your antithesis, but, you know, it's presented you with maybe a different way of, of thinking about some of these things, some very practical knowledge, right? Like licensing, <laughs> uh, you know, but also like thinking more abstractly about what remixes are and what creativity is and can be, um, you know, but then also how the law defines that. So I kind of want, I'm hoping that in this class, you know, you kind of come in with your worldview and that maybe, you know, there will be a little bit of a tweak uh, you know, with something in this class. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to choose a topic from class. It could be anything that we've, we've, we've covered. It could be sampling and music. It could, you could go beyond that to, to like, maybe say like you were really into the whole thing about like seed patents and patenting food and patenting medicine, which, you know, I really just touched on the surface, you know, and I think you could look at that more and more in depth. Say you're like a biology or chem major or something something like that and you you want to look more into that but maybe you're into fair use maybe you're into you know parody stuff find like a topic from the class that you're you're kind of into but feel free to go beyond that this this is not a research paper this is like um take what you've learned in the class and talk about it very specific way so when you write this paper you have to do a few things right you have to quote a couple of the books or the articles that we read in class, two, two sources from class, okay? Now, if you go beyond that to something, you know, another type of academic journal or book or anything else maybe that you find online, that's, that's cool too. But I want like an academic text, not a Wikipedia quote or something like that. Um, so anything by Boyer or Lessig or Van Hyenathan or Leadbeater or McLeod or DeSherney, any, any of these people, Okay, um, I want you to cite two cases from the class, 
um, you know, pick two cases. And uh, again, feel free to go beyond that if like you're inspired, you know. Um, I want you to cite two relevant laws. So it could be the Copyright Term Extension Act, the, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, the 1909 uh, Copyright Act, you know, it could be the Lanham Act, it could be whatever, any, 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 um, anything like that, you know, I want you to cite two of those. And again, you can go beyond the class. So it doesn't have to just be stuff from the class. You could, you could go beyond that. It's just, I just don't want you to have to feel like this is a research paper and you have to go beyond that. And then I want you to cite two relevant films or videos from the course. And of course, you know, this can be first person um, and talk a little bit about your position. Like maybe like, oh, like, you know, I'm pre-med and, you know, I'm really into the concept of patenting med medical procedures. Like, how does that work? What things have been patented and patented in that world and kind of delve into that. So I want to know a little bit about you. Oh, I'm a filmmaker. Oh, I make beats or, wh or whatever. You know, and so I'm really interested in, you know, sampling and music, okay? What you need to do is you need to write a four to six page paper. I say keep it on the, the four, closer to the four page side. Um, use a 12 point font, double spaced, and use a regular font like Times New Roman or Helvetica. It's all listed in the assignment description. Um, please use black ink, and then you'll submit it as a PDF uh, via, via email. There will be no Canvas submission for this, although it says you know, on Canvas, okay? Um, please copy, edit these, read them. If you got a friend or a family member, you know, uh, have them check this stuff out, read it over, etc. cetera. Um, also use friggin' paragraphs, yo. I don't know what the deal is with college students and just people in general with like paragraphs, but like I'll get like a three page long paragraph. Listen, yo, I need a break. You know, and a paragraph should be three to five sentences and it should represent a thought or a sub thought, you know, within a larger thought. Here's the deal. If you start writing something and you notice a, a, a paragraph and you notice you're starting to get to the, the um, you know, half of a page mark and you're still going, you need to look within that paragraph and find where there's a sub thought. So you may be writing about a particular area of your argument or your you know, facts or whatever your you know, evidence that you're providing. Hit enter and tab and make a paragraph, okay? Three to five sentences, again, like if they start to go on, just ch -ch -ch, okay, don't give me no you know, two page long paragraph. I can't read it physically. I cannot read that much text. Um, with my dyslexia, I just can't, like, read that much text. I'll go bonkers. I need, I need a break, okay? Um, yeah, so that's kind of what that is. And then you'll need a bibliography of some sort using a particular sky, style guide, whether it's APA, Chicago, MLA, uh, Blue Book, which is the legal cit citational style. And I have those, you know, you can find that stuff online, how to, how to do all that. Uh, this is pretty easy. How you'll be graded is, you know, you can read through it says grades, what, what you do to get five points or what you do to get no points. Um, I'll tell you, it's been very rare that anybody's gotten five points. Like you have to like knock my damn socks off, have my head explode to get five points. I mean, it's five points on your final grade. If you do some bullshit, like total bullshit, like half ass, you may get a point. If you do something that's pretty good, you'll get like three points, three and a half points. This is kind of how, how it works. People tend to get about three points, three and a half points, okay? That's the synthesis paper. You can do that for up to five points. Your other option is what's the, uh, the critical remix project. So what this is, I want you to apply, you know, um, a little bit of what you've hopefully learned in this class about fair use and creative commons and public domain. And, um, and, and also take from some examples in this class uh, as well. So I would look at like um, stuff like, uh, you know, uh, Consumer Whore or, you know, Shepard Fairey's work or Banksy's work or a lot of the street art or um, Ron English or whatever, any of those, you know, like, plays on brands, those uh, critical advertisements, like plays on critical advertisements. And you look at the assignment description, there's a whole list of artists at the, at the bottom, the Yes Men, Poster Boy, Negative Land, Shepherd Fair, basically Hoger, 
Basically, I want you to appropriate from popular culture. Choose a celebrity, politician, a brand, whatever it is, and I want you to make a critical piece of art about it. It could be a two-dimensional digital art piece, it could be a painting, it could be a drawing, it could be a cutout collage, it could be a video, it could be an audio mashup where maybe you take a president Overlord Trumpito giving a speech and you chop up his words to make him say something he would never say, um, like the George Bush parody that, that we watched. Um, but it needs to be you know, critical of the subject. So it needs to be fair use. So there's tons of this stuff out here and you can, you can find it. So literally it could be anything. It could be three dimensional. If you do a 3D work, you need to take a picture of it and send it, send it to me. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing you need to do is do a short one to two page Panam analysis of, of your work. Now, your work could also use stuff from the public domain. In that case, you don't need to uh, do that. Just have like a, a list of like a citation of where you got, you know, the public domain stuff from. It could be the Prelinger archives. It could be from, you know, Wikimedia or whatever. Um, or you could do, you know, um, yeah, so like I need like to know where you're getting stuff from. It could be Creative common stuff. In that case too, I need some form of bibliography. I just need to know where you got like the sound from or, or whatever, whatever you're using. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much the sky's the limit. So what I want is I want your actual remix, remix project. It needs to be like a PDF or a JPEG or I have specifics listed here for uh, video, I have specifics for uh, audio, um, and I want yeah everything as a, as a PDF. Um, the best way probably to get that to me, since those are large files, is to do some sort of file share, uh, Google, like Google Drive or uh, Dropbox, but you need to get, make sure I have permissions to the content. Um, uh, yeah, um, that's kind of that. Uh, you know, the fair use analysis should also be submitted as a PDF, you know, so submit that as a, as a PDF. Also, if you do the, uh, the paper version, the synthesis, please also submit a PDF instead of like a docx or anything like that. Yeah, it tells you, you know, how you'll be graded and what you need to do. So again, if you want to do either of these options, both of them are open to you. You can choose either one um, for up to five points on your, your, final, your final grade. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions about that. Give me a call, text, or whatever, um, and let me know if you need any help or anything with that. But that's just a way, you know, if you've maybe been struggling or you just you really want that A, and you're like, I may not get there on the final exam, um, here's your opportunity.